the Arduino's vault can create filters which will allow you to search for files within a particular folder by certain criteria. Under the default view, you'll see all the files per folder and all the column headers that you have selected. To define a custom filter, I'll use the drop down box to find custom views. My filter is going to be looking for a particular finish, so I'm going to name it Finish Filter. I'll modify it, pick Custom Filters, and now I can find the property in the vault called Finish. And I want to pick it to be electroless nickel. Add it to the criteria and say OK. Close out. And you'll see that now in this particular folder, I'm finding all the parts that have a finish of electroless nickel. It's important to remember that these filters only apply to the folder they were created until you assign them. If I switch to another folder, it goes back to default view. I have to assign the finish filter. If I go back to the previous one, it maintains. To give you a heads up, the vault gives you an indicator over in the far right hand side, this little funnel, gold shaped funnel, called Custom Filter Applied. You can right click on that if you like and edit the filter or delete it, which I really don't think you want to do at this point. Now this vault has another type of filter which is set by picking a category that you wish to filter on and looking for the little drop down arrow in the upper right hand corner. Select this and pick custom. The conditions are relatively limited at this point. They'll become more later. I'm going to stay with like and put in here that I want to search this folder for all file names that have clevis in them. I can use a percent sign or a asterisk for a wildcard. As you can see now, we have all the files in this folder which have the word clevis in them. Down at the bottom, you'll see the rule. If I uncheck the little box, it goes back to the default view. Check it again to go to the filter. If I hit the X, it would eliminate the filter totally. I won't do that right now. Go over to the edit box and you can edit the filter. If you click on the name, you'll see all the properties in the vault not just the column headers. You pick on is like and you'll see the increased list of conditions. Contains as being a very popular one. If you click on the last, which is the parameter, you could change that also. You could also delete the rule with the X at the end. If you select the and, you have some more Boolean criteria you may want to use. Let's add the rule from here. I'm going to change from name to project. I scroll down. It takes a few seconds. I pick project. I'm going to say contains an A. I have a number and it has an A in it. I'm going to add another criteria. So I hit the little plus and I'm going to say the category name contains Parts. Say OK, and you'll see now I have a different criteria. All my inventor parts with the project starting with A. These filters are maintained when you switch to another folder. Unlike the default view we saw a second ago or the view filter. There's a little drop down arrow at the end of the filter that you can pick up ones they've typed in before or erase them if you see fit with a little X. So you can quickly change back to a previous filter. Thank you for watching. Hope this will help you in your vault work.